Check the description for the following discount codes. Bit of a weird video today. I'm kind of making a video about making a video. What I want to know is if you lot, the viewers, think I should get this product in for review. And the reason I've got to ask you is because it's quite niche and it's reasonably pricey and I'm going to have to buy it in myself. And then when I'm, once I'm done with it for review, I've got no use for it. So I'd have to then try and sell it on. Now with stuff like the new Logitech wheelbase, the Thrustmaster wheelbase, that's all fine buying that in and then, and then selling it on because I know it will sell, you know, and I only lose maybe 150, 200 pounds or something like that, which I don't mind doing, you know, it's, it's for the channel, so to speak. But what we're looking at here is a tactile transducer kit. So it comes with four tactile transducers and these are bolt on, they bolt onto your rig. So not like that uh, seat cushion that I reviewed for Nick Level Racing the other day. And this is in fact where this came from. One of you guys in the comments, I've forgotten your name, so I do apologize, said to me, Carl, have you seen the tactile transducer kit from slipangle.com? I said, no, I haven't. So obviously I went over and I had a look and in fact, I'll get some screen capture on the go and I'll show you exactly what it is that we're talking about here. So let's go to the main page, get this fired up. Oh, an F9. Are you gonna start screen capture? No, yes. Eventually. That took a very long time for the NVIDIA control panel to start recording. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're looking at. Uh, it's from slipangle.com. It's $499 and if we actually if we look here, you can see there's a tactile transducer on each corner. These look like data and audio transducers, perfectly good transducers. A four channel amplifier, so one for each of the transducers. Four channel sound card, which then plugs in USB to your PC. So this is a similar setup to what I DIY'd years ago. I used some Rekhorn transducers. I used an old house 5.1 surround sound amplifier, and I used a USB sound card. It's exactly the same, but this comes with all the wires you need, the amplifier, the sound card, everything you need as a kit to get you going. And it also comes with what they call vibration isolators. And this is what caught my attention over and above anything else about this package here. These vibration isolators, let me try and find, yeah, so if we look, so again here, sound card, amplifier, yeah, date and audio BTS ones, perfectly good. And then we've got some brackets and what they call four times spring style vibration isolators. The isolators let the rig move freely and confine the vibration to the rig. Now, let me see if I can zoom in here. What's the biggest I can get this? Because these are what make it look interesting. Where have they actually gone? I've scrolled down too far, haven't I? Where are they? Here we are. These are what make it look really interesting. You've got like a foot and an outer casing with a big spring in the middle, like a little cap on the top, and then a rubber cap or, or like foot, but on the top. And the idea of this, looking at it, is these then fix to these black plates. Here I can see a single hole in the top. And these black plates would then bolt to the side of your aluminium profile rig Obviously you've got all your cables here as well. And what they're trying to do, as you can see here, is you use each transducer um, to simulate the vibrations you would get from the four wheels on the corners of your real car. And this is, of course, why you would want to do a tactile transducer setup with four transducers like this. And it's exactly how I did it on mine, except I had mine bolted vertically to the side of my aluminium profile. Whereas what they're doing here is floating the entire rig on those sort of captive springs. And that's what's caught my attention because that does, as they describe, allow the rig almost to move freely. It's not actually gonna move very far like you get with a real motion system, but it is gonna allow each corner of the rig to vibrate freely without the vibrations transferring sort of too much through the floor, which
which is how it would be on a traditional, like my rig, the, the tactile transducers would vibrate the whole floor in the room here because wooden floorboards being upstairs. Whereas with this, you may even get a very small amount of motion. Now, I'm not sure how strong these springs are. It might be that when you get in the rig, it's a bit like getting on a mattress, you know, the whole thing can move around. I don't really know. I'm gonna assume that it's not quite that soft and that these are fairly stiff springs, but I really like the idea of that sort of tiny little bit of freedom of movement. And I'm curious to know how it feels using the transducers in that horizontal plane instead of vertical, mounted on a spring, you know, just in, in where all your four wheels would be in a real car, versus how I had them. And, and with it all floating, whether you get a much better experience. Because for me, tactile transducers are like a must have for any serious simmer who wants that next level of immersion and realism, even if it's just one underneath your seat. It's still it's being able to feel the lumps and bumps in the road and rumble strips and curbs and a bit of engine vibration at idle and potentially gear change if you want that as well. Being able to feel all these things really takes it up a level, you know. I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you're when you accelerate from a standstill and you're going belting down a rally stage, the faster you go, you feel these little lumps and bumps, the more frequent you feel them. And it almost feels like you're moving forward down the rally stage and the same thing happens when you slow down of course everything starts to sort of reduce and, and the frequency drops the frequency as in how often not the frequency that they vibrate at and then like when you do a jump in dirt rally because your car's off the ground and the wheels are off the ground it just goes silent so to speak there's no vibrations and you just got that moment of sort of serenity whilst you're going through the air before you then smash down and and you're vibrating away again so I, you know, I, I love tactile transducers, but I'm really curious about this kit. But as I mentioned at the beginning, because I've got to buy it in, it's gonna be $500 plus shipping, plus import duty here in the UK. It's probably gonna end up being something stupid like 700 pounds by the time I actually get it here. That's a total guess before someone decides to get on their high horse and accurately tell me what it is. It's gonna be X amount getting it here to the UK, but I'm really curious to see how well they work. And I've got, a smaller 80-20 aluminium profile rig coming in from GT Amiga any day. In fact, they tried to deliver it today, but I was out. And that would be the perfect size rig to try this setup on because the rigs you see pictured here are smaller aluminium profile rigs, not massive ones like my Prime over there. So yeah, what I'd like you to do is tell me in the comments, do you think I should get this kit in for review? Um, if there's enough of you that are interested, then that'll give me some idea as to whether I'll be able to then sell the kit on again. Because you can imagine if I spend whatever it's actually going to be, 600, 700 pounds, and then I'm just stuck with it, that's quite an investment as I am only a small channel as far as YouTube goes, you know. Um, like I say, I don't mind buying things in for review, I do it all the time, but I can always sell them on. There, I've still got my four tactile transducers uh, my record one sat here because I did throw them up on Facebook Marketplace, but there was no interest in it because it's a very specific, you know, uh, accessory and you need to be searching for it. Now, it might be that because some of you have seen this video and you watch the review and it turns out that they're good, you might want to buy them from me, you know, at a discounted rate and I haven't got any problems. But what I don't want to do is just get this in without checking with you all spending six, 700 notes and then like no one cares, <laughs> no one's interested. And I'm just stuck with six or 700 pounds worth of uh, accessories that I have absolutely no use for because I've already got four tactile transducers sat on the floor over there anyway. So please let me know in the comments, should I get this in for review? Uh, and if there's enough of you that are interested, then I'll get it in uh, and I'll take the, take the punt and hopefully I can move them on afterwards. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just, just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'm super interested to see how floating the rig on these springs with the tactiles feels versus just bolting them on to the sides vertically with the rig still sat solid on the floor. That's what really gets my attention because I know how four tactile transducers would feel normally, but it's this additional, you know, putting them up in the air. Where's the picture of those again? Yeah, there, that really gets my interest. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, 
take it easy.